Hi, it's Greg Lachlan here from the Mariner Safety Series. Check out these neat little ebooks on the website you see at the bottom of the screen. The following safety message appears in the first in the series, the one for tinnies, but it applies to all boats. It says, A following sea can be very dangerous in a tinny. If you're heading out into a sea and it's bumpy, the trip back could be hazardous. Consider not going out. I'm going to do this two ways, the first using a figure from the Mariner Safety Series and the second by looking at some actual waves. They're small, but the behaviour of small waves and big waves is similar. If you can, spend a bit of time looking at this figure. It will help you understand how waves work. Because of the movement of the water in waves, the red tinny, which is going down the face of a following sea, is unstable and wanting to go sideways. The place to be in a following sea is behind the wave, like the boat to the left of the red tinny. Here's the perspective of a head sea, in other words you're going out into the waves. By looking at the movement of the water here you can see that you'll be drawn towards the crest, you'll punch through the crest, your boat will be braked momentarily, but it'll be over quickly. Now unless the waves are just too big for your boat, a head sea like this is not too much of a problem. Just don't go too quickly. A following sea is a different story. Yes, I know these are only very small waves, but you can see that if you were to go skating down the face of this wave here, that the bow of your boat is going to be braked hard by the movement of the water in the trough, and that's going to make your boat unstable. If your boat and the wave are going at a similar speed, you're going to be unstable for a long period of time. Providing your boat has the power, the best way to deal with the following sea is to sit behind one of the larger waves and follow it in. If your boat does not have enough power to do this, it's best to find another way home. <laughs> 